Between 10 and 20% of children experience neurodevelopmental and mental health problems. Most research in this area is conducted in high-income countries, but most of the children facing these health issues live in low-resource settings. Because of this, many children in low-resource settings don't get diagnosed as quickly, which creates a detection gap. In an effort to reduce this gap, we're working to move neuroscientific research out of the lab and into the field using mobile health technology. Our work in this area started with attempts to estimate the prevalence of autism in Indian school children. But it quickly became apparent that gold standard screening and diagnostic instruments are not available in local languages in India. We translated and validated a set of screening and diagnostic tools and used these tools in over 11,500 children to generate the first estimate of autism prevalence in Indian school children. However, for the project to scale, mobile technology was required. The Start app was built in response to this and is an important step towards conducting in-depth assessments of young children in low-resource settings who don't have access to specialists. The aim of translating lab experiments to a tablet-based app that a non-specialist with minimal training can use is to tackle key resource barriers. These barriers can prevent the identification of children at risk of neurodevelopmental and mental health problems. The Start app uses cutting-edge technology to collect performance data on multiple domains, including social motivation, motor function, visual attention and sensory preference. The app gives reliable estimates of eye position and movement using the tablet's front camera, and high-resolution motor responses can be recorded through inbuilt sensors. The app is also capable of recording parent-child interactions and interview data. All the data is uploaded to a secure central server, where it's analysed by researchers. The Start app has demonstrated proof of principle for its feasibility with successful testing in India. We used the app to work with 120 children between the ages of 2 and 6. Initial results suggest that tests in the app can distinguish children with and without neurodevelopmental issues. The app is designed for global use. It can be scaled to different languages and its design is intuitive enough for minimally trained community health workers to use. We're now following up on this work with a second app called Stream which will be tested across a wider age range and across diverse low-resource settings in India and Africa.